lens flare. I like it, but sometimes I don't. Well, here's a quick fix on a lens hood or a matte box for your camera that is pretty good. What's up? How you doing? How you, how you been? How's things been going? You been uh, doing some uh, some DUIs? No, 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 not DUIs. DIYs. <laughs> <laughs> now there's all kinds of do-it-yourself projects that you can do to build your own lens hood or make your own um, matte box is what they might call them but uh, this is something I picked up from uh, DSLRvideoshooter.com um, Caleb Pike over there had this suggestion and I liked it it was pretty cool and basically what it is is this little uh, rubber lens hood and it's rubber this one extends to about I would say two and a half inches and it's got a little step up ring back here. Um, this one's set up at 58 to 77. My lens is a 58 millimeter. And you can see, it just kind of pushes back. It's probably the easiest setup you can get if you want a matte box or a lens hood for your camera. I have this little ring. This is the step up ring right here. And it's just a little, this ring goes from 52 to 72. But this one is a 58 to 77 millimeter ring. And the idea behind it is, um, let me just show you. Take this off. You can screw this on. And this is a 58 millimeter thread on the front of my camera. And the reason I have it uh, going up to a 77 is so that way, just depending on my lenses, I can use this same uh, cover on all my lenses so it's just one way to make it a little cheaper so you don't have to buy a lens hood for every one of your lenses if you have a DSLR camera and uh, if you have a video camera you want to check because uh, chances are if it's a little bit bigger camera it will have a threaded millimeter lens and you can find the size you need get one of these little step up rings cost about two bucks on eBay and anyways this is the lens hood and the reasoning behind it or the idea behind it it actually is a three position cover where it goes back medium it doesn't really hold the medium but it goes all the way like that and for me this actually I know I usually like to do like do-it-yourself homemade projects but this thing works perfect and the idea that you can push it back out of the way and if it gets bumped it's rubber doesn't matter this right here is one of the best uh, setups I can think of at least for me and um, especially for this DSLR shooting I kind of can get my lens flares, I can pull it back when I want them, or I can push it forward when I don't. And the other cool thing is I actually use it, I just grab the edge and I use it to help focus. Because you can kind of grab the tip here and uh, you don't really see your finger in there. But anyways, that's uh, a quick little fix if you haven't uh, seen that or come across those before. I thought, I like the idea and even if you only have one lens on your camera, the step up ring might be an option because it makes the ring larger too. I don't know if you can see how big that is. Pretty monstrous little cover. And that puts about two and a half inches of hood. Puts my camera in the hood. Um, and it just screws on and screws off. So if you don't even want it at all, at all boom. Bananas. Bananas. Do, 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 do. This is craziness. No, this is trespassing. Now I shall not ask again. Give me your lunch money or give me your life. I have no lunch money. Then you shall die. Rancor. Did you just run me through with the rusty pole? If you get a chance, check out DSLRvideoshooter.com. It's got a lot of other cool little uh, suggestions and tips and just some cool tutorials on DSLR stuff. Uh, but that's all. Thanks again. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And send a 30-second mini movie so we can show it on the show. Yo. All right. That's all for now. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Seriously?
the heater is going to kick on now. All right, hang on. That's a bummer. I got to... Ah, pause. Technical, technical difficulty.